Hello friends, Tony here. So here I am in the welcome page and in the previous video we uh, on the post controller we returned on the index the view post index. So when you navigate the slash posts, we're going to return this view and also pass in here some variables. Then on the create, we return the post create page. Also on the show and edit. But right now, if I want to navigate to slash post, we need to change the URL. So let me just navigate the slash post for now. And now we are on post index page. But this is not what we want. What we want is to have a navigation here as all the websites says and navigate between pages. For that, we're going to modify the layout blade. Okay, so here we have the default slot on this layout which is going to render what we define here so we have x layout and inside that we pass what we want and that's going to be rendered here now above i'm going to say uh, let's add nav and inside the navigation i'm going to add the uh, home link and also the not about but post and same here post here. Now if I save and come here and refresh, now we have home and post, so we are in post index. If I click home, now welcome page, go to post, home and so on. Okay, that's okay, but uh, let's uh, style this and for that I'm going to use Tidal CSS. You can use also the bootstrap, but I prefer Tidal CSS and let's navigate to Tidal CSS. Let's search for Tidal CSS and here we have tidalcss.com. And let's get started here. We can use a uh, play CDN, so we can add just this script inside the head of our. So I'm going to copy and just show you. Let's come here inside the layout. We can add that one here, and that's going to work. But if we have, if we want to make some customization, it's a good idea to install the Tidal CSS. And if you go here. We have a framework guides and let me just zoom it a little bit. And as you can see here, we have a section for Laravel. Let's click and navigate there. So after creating a Laravel project, we need to run the npm install. And let's copy this command. So install the D, Italian CSS, post CSS and auto prefixer. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to open the terminal and paste that in. Hit enter. Next, we need to run the npx tiling css init dash p, and this is going to create a tiling.config.js file. Okay, so let's pass that, hit enter. Good. And now we need to add the path to all of your template files in your tiling config.js fi uh, config file. So let's Copy this and in the VS Code now, down there we have the tiling.config.js. Inside the content, we have an array. I'm going to pass the resources uh, star star slash star dot blade dot php, which means it's going to look inside all the blade files we have inside the resources. Okay, next we need to add the Tyrion base uh, components and utilities inside the resources CSS app.css file. So let's copy this and let's see inside the resources CSS we have this app.css which is empty and let's paste that in. Save, close this one. And next one is to open the terminal and run the npm run there. I'm going to copy that and let's come here and say npm run there. Okay, finally we need to so make sure your compiled CSS is included in the head. So we need to use with resources CSS app.css specify the CSS file here. And that one we need to add in the layout. So instead of the script here, CDN, I'm going to pass the app.css file. So I'm going to point to this one. Okay, now here we have some components. If you navigate there, uh, 
most of them are paid, but also you can find some uh, free components. But I mostly work with uh, Flowbyte, so let's search for Flowbyte here and flowbyte.com. So build websites even faster with components on top of Titan CSS. And let's get started. And what we need is a uh, navigation. So I'm going to select the navigation here. Just yeah, here we have nav bars. And we have a default nav bar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this one. And let's close also this and let's go to layout. And here when we have this nav now, I'm going to change with what we have copied there. I'm going to save and now let's see on the browser what we have. So if I open the Laravel 11 tutorial and refresh, yeah, here is the navigation. Okay, just we need to make some changes. So let me scroll up. Let's clean this and the shape is going to be the point slash here. The image I'm going to leave that one and just say Laravel 11 here. Next, I'm going to add home and also post links and remove the others. So if I scroll down, we have the home, which is going to be the point slash. And also here, I'm going to change that to be posts and point slash posts. Okay, next, remove the others allies. Let's save. Okay, as you can see, we are inside the post index page, but the home link is highlighted. So if I click uh, post, post, as you can see, we stay in here. If I click the home, we navigate the welcome page. And always the home link is uh, highlighted because we have hard-coded classes here. And that's what we are going to fix in the next video also. I'm going to create a separate component for, for only the nav. Okay, so create a separate component for the nav and include inside the layout blade.php. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. Now, if you like such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.